Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. TSMC has built a 5 nanometers chip factory in the United States with a total investment of 12 billion US dollars. This factory will change the pattern of the global chip manufacturing industry and allow the United States to have the localization capability of high-end chip manufacturing. Morris Zhang is opposed to the establishment of a factory in the United States and does not think that making chips in the United States will be successful. It's just that Lou Dayan has decided to go and steadily promotes the construction of American factories. Why does Morris Zhang oppose the construction of TSMC factory in the United States? Can Lou Dayan continue to benefit from chasing orders from U.S. companies? Morris Zhang's advice on building a factory in the United States. TSMC has world-class chip manufacturing capabilities and the world's top 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and other chip products are all produced by TSMC. At present, TSMC is preparing for mass production of 3 nanometers chips. Although it is two quarters later than Samsung, it is estimated that TSMC can win customer orders with a high yield rate. It is precisely because TSMC is so strong that it has been invited by the United States to build factories in the United States many times. The United States has the chip orders needed by TSMC and orders from major customers such as Apple, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA have contributed more than 60% of TSMC's revenue. At first, TSMC's attitude was to refuse to go to the United States to build a factory, but after losing the cooperation with its second largest customer, TSMC had no more choices. What's more, the United States has promised to provide subsidies, which can offset part of the cost of building factories in the United States for TSMC. In this way, TSMC announced in May 2020 its plan to build a factory in the United States, investing $12 billion to build a 5 nanometers factory in Arizona, the United States, which will be put into operation in 2024 at the earliest. It seems that everything is moving in the right direction, but Morris Zhang, the founder of TSMC, has opposed the establishment of the factory one after another, and has repeatedly advised TSMC to return to the right path. So why did Morris Zhang object to the U.S. building a factory to make cores? There are three main reasons. First of all, the United States does not have a complete supply chain. Manufacturing chips requires the cooperation of the supply chain. Even if TSMC masters the most advanced chip manufacturing technology, it still needs the support of photolithography machines, etching machines, cleaning machines, photoresists, and other equipment and materials. If a region has a complete supply chain, it can help factories quickly obtain the materials needed for semiconductor manufacturing. The U.S. chip manufacturing industry has been silent for decades. Only the design aspect is relatively complete, and there are various vacancies in the manufacturing end. Secondly, the United States lacks semiconductor talents. Chips are man-made, not made by God, so in the process of chip manufacturing, a large number of talents are needed to support. Especially the production of high-end chips such as 5 nanometers requires technical talents and the control of a team of experts. However, the United States lacks semiconductor talents. In order to solve the talent problem, TSMC's high salary will not help. After all, cultivating a top semiconductor talent is not something that can be solved by spending money, but also needs to invest time and resources. TSMC's U.S. factory will be completed in 2024 at the earliest, and no one will know whether the factory will still operate by then. Finally, Morris Zhang emphasized that the cost of chip manufacturing in the United States is very high. The United States does not have a complete industrial chain and lacks talents. The combination of these factors will eventually cause TSMC to spend more money and spend more money to solve the problem. Purchase equipment from all over the world and transport it to the United States, 
and then spend a lot of money to attract talents to join them and provide higher remuneration. No matter what you do, you have to spend money. Morris Zhang bluntly stated that the cost of American factories is 50% higher than that of the headquarters area. It is equivalent to the money to build one advanced factory in the United States, and Taiwan province can build two. Can Lu Dayan continue to benefit from chasing orders from U.S. companies? Various problems emerged one after another, and Morris Zhang wanted to persuade TSMC to turn around. However, TSMC has been building factories in the United States for more than a year, and it is too late to look back. It is estimated that Morris Zhang's advice is also to hope that TSMC can keep a distance from the United States. After all, the United States' thoughts on TSMC are not pure. While inviting TSMC to cooperate, the other side provided the most resources to Intel. It also cooperates with Japan on two nanometers, excluding TSMC. These all show that the United States regards TSMC as a puppet for building factories. After the factory is completed, it is difficult to guarantee that the United States will not have the idea of introducing TSMC's talents and technologies. But Morris Zhang couldn't persuade him. Lou Dayan, the current chairman of TSMC, has made up his mind to go. He regards American technology as the direction of his efforts, and also arranged 10 chartered planes to transport TSMC's equipment and personnel from the headquarters to the American factory. TSMC's trouble has become big. Lou Dayan did not choose to purchase new equipment, but used old equipment and headquarters personnel. Is this trying to evacuate TSMC? Morris Zhang is a sensible person. If Morris Zhang had not retired, he might not have taken the step of building a factory in the United States. As long as you master the world's leading technology, even if you don't go to the United States to build a factory, you can still attract orders for cooperation. And Lou Dayan chose to go to the United States to pursue orders from American companies, can he continue to benefit? If it was before, it would be fine, but now Intel is also entering the chip foundry industry, and is also wooing TSMC's customers to cooperate. Intel said that among the top 10 semiconductor companies in the world, it has cooperated with seven of them. The key is that these companies are almost all major customers of TSMC, such as Qualcomm and Nvidia, AMD and more. With Intel participating in the competition, TSMC may not be able to operate unimpeded in the U.S. market. The U.S. only needs to play tricks to get U.S. companies to hand over orders to Intel. It is hard to say how much TSMC will benefit from its U.S. factories. Right at the end. TSMC has accelerated the construction of American factories and transported equipment and talents from its headquarters. This is making matters worse. Once the production capacity of equipment is shipped to the United States, the proportion of production capacity in the headquarters area will decline. If the United States continues to guide TSMC to continue to invest in factories in the United States, TSMC may have no choice. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.